Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to our Ramadan series, As Sirat Al Mustaqim. And here we are at the fourth stop in this station, the wisdom. Allah said that He sent Prophet Muhammad وسلم, to recite the word of Allah, to purify them, to teach them the book, and now the wisdom. Now, when we look through the ayat of the Quran, this has been repeated so many times that Allah said, we reveal to you the book and the wisdom. And we look at the life of the Prophet Sallallahu because everything he said, we have recorded it. What did the Prophet Sallallahu teach other than the Quran? The only other thing is what Allah revealed to him of the wisdom that we call the Sunnah. One of the names of a Sunnah, which means the way and the path of the Prophet is to call it a wisdom. Why? Because it's the implementation of the divine guidance in a human life. And the best implementation that anyone has ever done of Al-Quran Kareem was the implementation of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam when he himself said, وَخَيْرُ الْهَدِي هَدْيُ نَبِيِّهِ مُحَمَّدْ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وسلم. So the translation of the Sunnah into a wisdom is very important. SubhanAllah, every year people come out to us and say, do not follow the Sunnah, do not follow the Hadith, Oh my God, Al-Bukhari has this, Muslim has that, this book has this. So then you're like sitting down and asking, so who do I follow? SubhanAllah, as if they're jealous of the Prophet Wasallam, they want to push him and they want to sit there and say, follow me. I'd rather follow the Messenger of Allah. This Sunnah, attack on the Sunnah happened at the time of the Prophet Wasallam. Literally people said, Whatever we find in the book of Allah, we follow it. Whatever we don't, we leave it. The Prophet ﷺ said, let it not come to my ears that one of you says that. Wisdom is so important in this deen that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala called himself Al-Hakim, the wise. Allah called Al-Quran Al-Kareem, Yaseen, Wal-Quran Al-Hakim, the wise book. Allah described his Prophet ﷺ as being the wise man and his sunnah as the wisdom. And wisdom is something when you take this Quran that you're reciting in the month of Ramadan and apply it from the experience that you get from applying the Quran, you will get wisdom. This is called acquired wisdom. You get it from the book of Allah, you get it from a teacher, you get it from your own implementation, and you get it as an inspiration from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now, having said that about the wisdom, wisdom is also something that Allah inspires some of his servants, some of us, men and women, to be wise. Allah in Al-Quran Al-Kareem said, يُؤْتِي الْحِكْمَةَ مَنْ يَشَاءُ وَمَنْ يُؤْتَى الْحِكْمَةَ فَقَدْ أُوْتِيَ خَيْرًا كَثِيرًا Allah gives the hikmah, the wisdom, to whomever he pleases. And whosoever is given wisdom, Allah has given him an abundance of goodness. SubhanAllah, in our daily life, we find that people are attracted to smart people. Smart is what can I do with this right now? But what's the difference between smart and wise? Wisdom, so many definitions for it out there, but one of the definitions is to know why things happen not only how things happen, then to take that knowledge of why things happen and then project how things are going to end up being. And once you have that projection and that understanding how things will end up being, then you come and influence things. If things are going to become evil, you try to stop it. If things are going to become good, you either leave it as it is or even make it better. This is the act of wisdom. But some of the definitions, which they're all right, is to say the right thing at the right time, at the right place, with the right intention. Or to do the right thing at the right time, with the right intention, at the right place, because that's also being wise. You will find that usually, like smart people, they talk, they're talkative. Wise people, they're calm and you know slow, and they don't respond quickly. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bring the wise people amongst us and in this ummah as we desperately need them. You cannot find wisdom on your mobile phone or on your iPad or on your computer. Wisdom is something that you have to learn from others. And the Prophet ﷺ put us on a mission. He said, 
Wisdom is the lost treasure of the believer. Wherever he finds it, he claims it. So we are even open to learning from others. If we find there is wisdom in what they do and it does not contradict the teachings of our faith, we will happily take it and claim it as we are always chasing wisdom in our lives. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us from those who are wise, grant us wisdom in this month of wisdom, Ramadan al-Mubarak, and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive our sins and guide us to the straight path every day of our lives. Ameen ya Rabbal Alameen.